Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 91 of the New York Mets. Now, first things first, apologies that we've missed a few episodes this week. Um, if you've been following along either on Twitter, uh, at Ozzy Villain, the link's in the description. <laughs> Get that in there. Uh, but also, you know, I've done a few update videos. Basically, my laptop packed it in. Um, but we've managed to save uh, save the gate, the save file, uh, which is excellent. We're all back online now and ready to rock and roll into this, hopefully, into the postseason. Um, not too much to catch you up on. There is a injury to David Peterson, not a serious one though, so that's not too bad. We're still obviously without Cotillo uh, and Benintendi for the year. That hasn't changed. Um, you can see, I mean, all the leaders there. Syndergaard, I don't understand what's going on with that. He's not, he actually has our worst ERA uh, of all our starting rotation, which is not great. Eckhorn's in there right now because of the Peterson injury. He'll drop back down to the bullpen um, once once that happens. And we did call up, uh, while we're sort of working on this, we did call up, um, you can see here, Hazuri from the uh, AAA. He's done pretty well. Uh, two starts uh, without give 3.2 innings without giving up a run. So relatively happy. He's a left armor in the ball. I oh, know he's long reliever. He's a right armor. We don't do need a left armor in the bullpen. That's definitely a downfall that we have right now. Um, but there we go. We'll have a quick look at the standings. You can see that it is still neck and neck with the Atlanta Braves, and the Phillies aren't going away either. Uh, it's a relatively close division, to be fair. We're, uh, what are we, August 21st uh, in game, and I mean, the Nationals would still give themselves half a chance, I would imagine, of being able to close this gap to us. Uh, as far as the wild card race goes, it, we're, I mean, it's, we're, we're relatively safe. Uh, we're six games safe in the wild card game, so you'd like to think we'll see that out. Um, our hitting, you can see we don't really have any leaders in the hitting anymore. Um, every time I see Jock Pedersen anywhere near a hitting thing, it just does my head in because he was so bad for us. Eckhorn leading the way with wins. Uh, Espinosa is right up there uh, in terms of strikeouts. No Syndergaard this year, though. He's up there with pitching war, but otherwise he has not had his best season. I uh, will give you a quick look at the pitching stats. You can see the condition of the bullpen there as well. Uh, it's going to be, it looks like a Daniel Stefanovic start today. Uh, we're playing the St. Louis Cardinals in game four of a series. You can see how everybody else is doing there, um, which is good. And then we can see the hitting as well. Uh, Miguel Soto and Brickhouse are in a bit, are in slumps. Legend's going to miss this one because he is, as you can see, they're a little bit fatigued. And hopefully that will be okay. You can see he's batting out, he's up to 260. Now he didn't start the best. Um, but he's coming along nicely. 22 home runs now, 60 RBIs. Uh, uh, Jimenez is, I mean, he hasn't got all those home runs with us, but he's doing really, really well nonetheless. 33 home runs on the year, 80 RBIs, which is just incredible. Um, so that's how that looks. And let's have a quick look at the schedule to see how we got to where we are here. Uh, now, we finished off uh, last episode. Who did we play last episode? We had the series against the Nationals to play, didn't we? Here we go. I guess, of course, we had the All-Star game, didn't we? Uh, so we beat the Nationals. We ended up sweeping them three of three. Uh, and then in game three of this series, Jimenez, the new boy, of course, um, went three for four. Where is he here? Jimenez, three for four with four RBIs. Absolutely sensational stuff. He did, get, did he hit a home run? Yeah, he did hit a home run as well. That was his first home run for the Mets, uh, which was good to see there. Uh, with the Cubs, we swept them three of three. Job done. Very, very nice. Then we played the Phillies. Now, you can see we lost the game there. And we actually only won one of four against them, which was not the team we wanted to be dropping that many uh, games to. Um, so that was disappointing. Game three was actually a really good game. That we only gave up two hits uh, as a defensive unit. So a, a massive, massive well done to the pitching staff. Hoffman, Ekhorn, Villanez, Garcia, Robert Tyler, one of the new boys, and Aguirre. Um, between them, gave up two hits. That is really, really stunning stuff from them. Um, but that was not the end of that. We went on a bit of a disappointing run here, uh, which really, I think this is what kept the division tight for us, was this, this run against them. We lost both games against the Braves, which was frustrating. Uh, and in game one here, all of their runs came in the fifth innings. Otherwise, it was a relatively good performance. Um, and who was that that stuffed up? It was Syndergaard again. We can see only two earned runs, so there was errors involved as well. It looks like a Morlock error. Um... Otherwise, it was a pretty good, a pretty good uh, game from us. So that's that's frustrating. Uh, we would have really have liked to have picked up that game against the Braves. Uh, we went and played the Brewers. We lost the first two of the series. Then I was I was in panic mode at that point. Uh, then we won the second two. So that sort of picked it up from there. Played the Nationals, won game one, lost the next two. Uh, game one, you can see 6-5. We won it in the late innings. We got the, the equalizing run in the eighth, won it in the ninth. Job done. Very well done. Uh, happy to see that, uh, you know, coming back with late wins because we know last season we didn't necessarily do that. Uh, then we played the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, we lost game one of this series, won the next two uh, to come back nicely. Uh, game one here, again, Syndergaard gave up uh, five runs in the third innings. I think this was Syndergaard, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Uh, none of them earned. So again, it's not necessarily his fault. And I think that's maybe where he's, it's been a frustrating year for him. Um, only gave up two hits, but he did still give up five runs. You know, like I know it's just, I know not necessarily his fault, but just because runners are on base that aren't your fault. You know, you've got to be getting us out of those innings. Um, and then game two here to get us back on track. Uh, legend with two home runs, which we love to see, don't we? You love to see it. Where is he here? Two for two, three RBIs. Uh, if we look down here, I'll make sure it's not behind my head. Two home runs for him. So uh, legend coming up big for us there. Then we played uh, the Cardinals, and we've actually we won the first game of this series, and we've actually lost the next two. Um, and again, frustrating games. We gave up all the runs in the fourth innings for this one uh, on the loss. We, as you see, scored two runs in the ninth, so that maybe flatters us a little bit. Um, but yeah, if we look at the own runs here, uh, it was Eckhorn. It was his first start, I think, coming out of the, he usually obviously comes out of the bullpen, um, wasn't a great time for him. Uh, and then game three, uh, again, all the runs in the first two innings, uh, and who was it this time? This time it was against Syndergaard. He's just, he's just not having a good year. Now his war suggested he is having a good year. Um, which makes me think, and you guys have kind of said this, that he's just being ridiculously unlucky. But there's nothing unlucky about giving up six earned runs in 1.1 innings, is there? That's that's poor, is what that is. Um, but yeah, if you look at his WAR here, where are we here? Noah Syndergaard, 4.5. Like that's he's the best on the team in that sense. He just is pitching without luck. Five wins, ten losses on the season. Um, yeah, he's really, really struggling. Now, one other piece of news uh, to catch you up on, if we just quickly go back to the schedule. If we go back to July, so for this month, Aguere, our closer, was the pitcher of the month for for for, uh, for the National League. So really, really well done for him. Um, you can see there, oh, July was a really, really good month for us. August is a lot of red there, isn't it? We really need to pick things up. We need to start picking things up here against, uh, against the Cardinals. We're in St. Louis. Let's have a look at the team we're sending out. Okay, and this is it. Now, I should just quickly say, because basically I had packed everything packed in, I have had to redo settings. Hopefully, uh, nothing will be worse. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of see when we get into the game here how things are going. Now, Griff McGear leads us off. He plays our second base. Mauricio bats second at shortstop. Uh, Berthard Morlock bats third, plays third. Uh, Jimenez bats in cleanup, at le plays left field. Suzuki bats five in right field. Keston Hira plays first. He bats at number six. That's Francesco Alvarez is the catcher at seven. Reese Albert comes in for legend. He bats eight in center field. And as I said before, Daniel Stefanovic gets the start. We're up against, would you believe, Edwin Diaz. That's right. Edwin Diaz is the pitcher. Uh, of course, we traded off to St. Louis. Um, he's getting the start this year or this game. Uh, obviously, uh, is it, what day? it's called an opener, I think, isn't it? Uh, so let's hope that he really, really does poorly. Okay, and here we go. We're in St. Louis. Now, hopefully everything looks okay. Because I'd already done sort of the, the playthrough to get up to this game, I haven't had a chance to check anything. One thing I did change uh, is the size of the ball to large. I don't know how large this is going to be, um, but I'm hoping it'll make it a little bit easier for everybody uh, to see where the ball, especially if you're watching on a phone or something, um, to actually see where the ball goes. So let me know what you think when we see the ball, if we ever do see it. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's a lot better, I think, isn't it? I, I think that's much better. But there we go. Griff McGear gets us underway with a leadoff double. Um, it looks a bit ridiculous having that big of a ball, but let, let me know what you think in the comments. I, I Actually, I think that's a little bit easier for me to see as well. Um, so I'm liking that. But there we go. Griff McGear underway against Edwin Diaz with a double. Can Ronnie Mauricio start to hit him around? Oh, he's got down the first baseline. It does advance Griff the third, and with only one out, you'd like to think we can get this runner across the plate. He Berthard Morlock steps in. That should get the run. Oh, it's an error as well. It's going to be an RBI single. Or an RBI. It's not a single as it goes. It's an error. But anyway, we've got the run. That's the main thing. Griff McGear crosses the plate. Morlock gets the job done. And we're only one away. And it is Eloy Jimenez now. Can he smash a home run? No, he cannot. He strikes out. That's not the worst thing, though, is it? Here we go with Seiya Suzuki. Swing for the fences, mate. Oh, I tell you what, he's not swung quite hard enough. But it's, is it going to get down? Is it going to get... Oh, it's not. It's pulled out there by the center fielder. And... That ends the innings, but we scored the run. We've taken the lead, and that is, that's the big thing, isn't it, here? All right, it's Stefanovic to the mound, up against Jacob, was it Guzzle? I didn't, I didn't miss, I didn't quite catch the whole name. I don't know if it was Guzzle or not, but it doesn't matter what it is, because he's sitting down. Excellent start for Stefanovic. It was, oh, Gonzalez. <laughs> uh, I'm dumb sometimes, aren't I? All right, Mookie Betts to the plate. Come on, Stefanovic, he walks him. All right, one out, one on. 
Nolan Gorman to the plate. He is batting. What's he batting this year? He's in a cold slump. He's 230, 58 RBIs, 18 home runs. So he's a dangerous hitter. He slapped that against the shift. And that is runners at first and second with one out. And we do now need to try and, and end this here if we can. Let's get a nice double play, a strikeout, something. That could be a double play. Mauricio over to a Griff. Oh, Griff doesn't have a play at first. Two away, though. It gives us a way out of the innings, even though Mookie Betts is at third. No room for error here. What's he got? It's Griff. Griff, make the play made over to Hero, and Hero makes the play. All right, we get through the first innings after a small scare. But job done. Keston Hura comes in the bat. Up against Diaz still. He strikes him out. Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay. It brings up Francesco Alvarez. What can our young catcher do? Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, he's hit that really, really well. Is it going to drive into a gap? It's not. It's going to be caught in left field, isn't it? Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. That's two away. And it brings up Reese Albert in for legend. What can he do? What can he do? He can strike out. That's a real shame, actually, because that means that we lead off with the pitching slot next time around. If he could have got himself on base, that would have been helpful. But anyway, Stefanovic goes back to business. What's he got for us? Come on. Oh, that's another really good hit down the left field line. That's going to be a leadoff double. Now, we saw when we did this that the run was able to be forced across the plate. Are we going to be able to prevent that this time? It's Ryan McMahon. He's batting 307. He's got a bit of an injury. I'm not quite sure what that is. Can we sit him back down? We walk him. Oh, this is first and second. It's the pitching slot. It's Edwin Diaz who cannot bat at 094. Oh, he popped it up. All right. Reese Albert's out there. Can he make the play and keep the runner at second? It doesn't look like he can. No, he cannot. One out. Runner at third. Well, we need a strikeout or a double play, don't we? It's Andrew Kinenza, or however you say that. Kinza? Kinza, probably. The catcher. Oh, it's deep. I don't think Reese Albert's going to be able to prevent this run. He does his best. It's a good throw. Can he get there in time? No, it's not. It's just, just a little second late. And it's 1-1. But it is two out. Can we end this here, please? Come on. It's down there to Morlock. Morlock picks it up over to Hira. And we do end the innings there. But it is 1-1. What can we do? Stefanovic should lead us off. Batting 0-6-9. I'm not expecting too much. And I pretty much got what I expected. So you didn't let me down there, mate. That's good to see. Diaz with another strikeout. Griff McGear, can he do something similar to what he did last time with a double? He's hit it. It's been popped up, though, hasn't it? And that's going to be the second out. Now, this will surely... What's his stamina? It's, uh, i tell you what. It's, he could maybe get another innings out of him here, which is bad news for us. Mauricio with one and two the count. And he strikes out as well. Diaz is settling in for business, isn't he? Um, maybe we did trade him away just a little bit too soon. Mookie Betts. How's Mookie Betts up again? Come on, Stefanovic. That is popped up, I think. It, oh, it just loops over. It's one of those stupid little fly things. Runner at first. Come on. Come on. Let's end this here. That's been well hit. It is well caught out there by Seiya Suzuki on the slide, it looks like. Really, really good catch by our uh, Japanese right fielder there. All right, it's Eric Reigns into bat now. Can we get a double play here? They're going for the steal and not even close. That is Vets at second. Come on, Stefanovic. Let's end this, please. Come on, let's get this second out. Oh, he's hit him. Ah, stop booing, you stupid Midwesters. Come on, boys, come on. Oh, it's been popped up again. Suzuki's there again. Makes another good catch. Betts can't get to third. And that is two away. Come on, let's end this here, please. Come on, it's Roy Bulls, who's one for one. Oh, it's to Mauricio. Mauricio, over to you. Gets to play at second. That retires the team. We end the third inning. Still tied at one. But, yeah, you just get the feeling that we're, we're second best right now. Here we go. Diaz against Morlock. Morlock, it's just off the end of the bat, isn't it? It's not a powerful hit. Straight to shortstop. And that is the first out. It brings up Jimenez. What can the power man do? He's 0 for 1, of course. That is... Is it going to get through? No, it's not. Is there going to be a play? Oh, there's no play. 
He finds himself with an infield hit. One out. Runner at first. He's not the quickest, old Jimenez. So we're going to have to hit him around. What can Suzuki do? Oh, Suzuki's absolutely crushed it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Suzuki gives us a 3-1 to one lead. Excellent stuff. Have some of that, Diaz. That's why we traded you away, because you give up too many home runs. It's 3-1. to one. And Seiya Suzuki. How many home runs is that for him this year? He's very quietly having an amazing, amazing season. That was, he's, he's not going to slump anymore. His 22nd home run, 55 RBIs. He is just really having a good year for us. Hura, that's been popped up down the first base line. That should be out, and that will be the second out of the innings. It'll bring up Alvarez bats next, doesn't he? Yes. Just close your eyes and have a swing, mate. See if I can hit it. Not very far, but there we go. That should be the end of Diaz, I would imagine. The pitching slot probably coming up the bat. Yeah, so that will be the end of Diaz now. Um, Stefanovic will continue for us, though, with a lead to cling on to. Oh, that looked like a really nasty looking. It was a curveball. It looked like a, a change-up, but it was, whatever it was, it got the job done. They are hitting with Diaz, which seems strange, because surely he's done. And that is to Mauricio. Mauricio over to Hira, and that will be the second out of the bottom of the fourth. And it brings up the catching slot. Weird that they're batting the pitcher at eight. There must be a reason for it. I don't really know what that is, and that's going to find its way through. Morlock couldn't quite get there. It's a two-out single. And on we go with Jacob Gonzalez. Come on. That should be easy enough. Over to first. There we go. All right. We keep the lead. We protect the lead. We're 3-2 up. Throw me 3-1 up. We go into the fifth innings with Albert Reese to lead us off, still with Diaz on the mound. How is he pitching so many innings here? Reese Albert, no, he can't quite get it through the infield, and that will be that will be the out, the first out. It brings up Stefanovic to bat. Batting 0-6-7 now. What can he do this time? He's hit it. Has he got a base hit? Oh, he has. Daniel Stefanovic gets himself on base. Nicely done with a one-out single. That's going to improve the average. Average is up to 0.97. Now he's almost batting 100. Wonderful stuff. Griff McGear, one for two. Can we get another double out of him? That's down. Oh, it's going to be a double play. We can get another double. It's just not the sort of double we were looking for. Wrong double, McGear. I meant get yourself on second, not clear the bases for us. All right, Mookie. Mookie bet seems to be batting every innings right now. Stefanovic to continue. What can he do for us? Come on. Oh, again, Mookie bets just seems to have the better of us. It's going to be a leadoff double. Not much Jimenez can do out there in left field to prevent that. And this is... <sighs> Mookie, how about... It's not going to say what he's batting today now, is it? Because we have to wait for next time. But he must be three for three. And it seems like he's batting every innings as well. All right, someone switch the lights off. We're in night time. Oh, and Stefanovic shines in the dark, doesn't he? There we go. A nice strikeout to get one away. Eric Reigns. It is Reigns, isn't it? Yeah, it comes back up. He is 0 for 1. Now, we did walk him. I think it was the last time that we walked him. I'll tell you what, he's walking back to the dugout now. That's a good strikeout. Uh, how many strikeouts is that now for Stefanovic? Four. 99 for the year. Can he get his 100th season strikeout? Not at 0 and 3. He can't. Is he going to walk him? At two outs, he does walk him. Oh, that's a three, a four pitch walk. Can we get strikeout number 100 for the year now? No, again, it's 3 and 1. He's walked another one. Stefanovic, you're killing me, mate. Come on. Let's end this innings. It's Reese McMahon. It's loaded bases. It's two out. You're a 99 strikeouts. Oh, he's just building the tension. There it is. Another strikeout. 100 for the season. Excellent. Entertainment to the end. I like it. All right. We have a change of pitcher now. It is Duran that comes in. His ERA is 1.61. So ERA wise, he is pretty solid. It's Mauricio at the plate. Mauricio's just having a bit of a rough patch. Uh, and that sits him back down. Eberhard Morlock comes in. Batting 270. His average has really fallen away from the early times of the season. And that is a three-pitch strikeout. And can Jimenez... Of course, he got the infield hit last time. What can he do this time? He can strike out as well. well that's an innings to forget for the Mets. Three up, three down, all struck out. And we enter the bottom of the six. Stefanovic to continue again. What can he do here? Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, that should be caught out there by Reese Albert. It's well hit, but straight to him. And that is the first out of the bottom of the six. And it brings up the youngster, Ika Huezi. We'll go with that. Another lefty. No, he's not. He's right-handed, isn't he? I don't know. Of course, he's in long relief. I keep thinking it's left-handed, but it's not left-handed relief. Anyway, a strikeout for the youngster. He's seventh in Major League Baseball. This doesn't look like it's going to be a strikeout. No, he walks him. 
Uh, so Gonzalez goes to first. Mookie bats again. Honestly, he's batting every innings. He is two for two. We must have walked him at some point as well. What can we do? He's hit that. Albert Reese is there again, and this should end the innings. And it does. Well done, Albert Reese. Well done to Stefanovic, who's in line for a win. Well done to... Uh, what did I say his name was? Hizriki? Uh, Hiziri? Anyway, good innings from him. It's Suzuki to the plate. I'm confused with names pronunciations. <laughs> Just, well, why can't we all be Smiths and Browns? Come on. Oh, to strike out. Strike out for the Suzuki, wasn't it? Brings up Keston Hira. He's 0 for 2 today. Not having a great game. He's due, though, isn't he? He's hit that. Oh, straight to third base. I thought for a second then he might have found a, a way into the outfield, but not to be. That's two away. Alvarez, who's also 0 for 2. What can he do? Alvarez, that is a 3 1 grubber to the shortstop, and that is a very, very quick innings. So we stretch, being out hit 4 to 5, but winning 3 to 1. And it's going to be Eka to continue. What can he do? Come on, mate. Come on. That is going to be caught, is it? No, it's just found its way into the outfield. It's a leadoff single, which, as I said, not ideal. We do need to get Hizuri through this innings if we can, because he, he, the pitching slot is up next inning. So if we can get him through this innings, that would be a really good thing. That's been well hit. I don't feel oh, it's left. It's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, 430 feet. It wasn't even close. It was left the second they hit the bat. And that is the first runs given up by a youngster. Just a, not the best time to do it. ERA suddenly is at 4.15. Uh, and we're, we, we haven't even started this innings yet, really, have we? There we go. That's going to get through as well. All right. Mr. Manager Herrera, I think his name is, isn't it? We really, we might need to. Yeah, there we go. So Robert Tyler comes in. He is one of our guns. What can he do? Oh, that's going to find its way into the outfield as well. Can we keep... The, if we're none out as well. Oh, what? The bullpen yet again is coming in and destroying us. It's different names. It's the same old story. When we go on YouTube, we just give up runs for fun out of the bullpen. Come on, we need this strikeout, mate. We need it. It's been popped up. Does Albert Reese have the arm to stop the runner from scoring? Oh, does he ever? Does he ever? That's two away. What a throw. Not even close. And we just might manage to get out of this with our... Well, with the game intact. Come on. Come on, Tyler. Come on, mate. We need to get this out. You need to get this out. That is Mauricio over to first base, mate. There we go. That could have been so much worse. Stefanovic loses the win, which is a real shame. Because I thought he did pretty well. But Albert Reese now comes in to hit. And can he look to restore our lead here? Let's get yourself on base, mate. We'll see if we can work you around. He's 0 for 2 so far. Oh, that's disgusting. He's been hit. Uh, that doesn't matter, though. He's shake it off, mate. You're on first. It is Legend coming in to pinch hit. What can Legend do? He can strike out. All right. Just go and rest, mate. Go and rest. This was supposed to be an off day for you. Griff McGear. 1 for 3. Hit a double play last time. He's hit a double play again. No, he hasn't. There's no play at second. But it is two away. It's going to bring up Mauricio, who we know isn't in the best form of his life, with a runner at second. Can he drive it in? Oh, can he ever? Go home, Albert Reese. What a hit for Mauricio. He's going to find himself on second. We're 4-3 in front. Well done. Right, it's a triple. No, it's not. It's a double. Well done, Ronnie Mauricio. Get that up, you St. Louis. They get back to 3-3. We go to 4-3. Very next innings. And it brings up Eberhard Morlock. Now again with a runner at second. He's 0 for 3, old Eberhard, today. Is that going to be good enough for anything? No. Centre field is coming around. And that is going to end the innings. But not before we recapture our lead. Excellent, excellent stuff. And we go to the bottom of the 8. It's Ryan Gar Brian Garcia in the pitch now. Let's see what he can do. We've made a defensive sub. Um, so Griff McGee goes out of the game. Mauricio goes to second. Uh, Soto goes into shortstop. And you can see we've got uh, we've kept Legend at center field. We've taken out um, we've taken out Jimenez and Albert Reese moves over to left. So we've made our defensive subs. It's Brian Garcia, as I said. Let's see if we can keep this lead now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's up in the air. Legend should make that catch relatively simply. There it is. One away. Excellent stuff. Let's have five more of those, please, boys. It's a full count. Come on, Garcia. Strikes him out. All right. That's two away. 
That's two away. This is a massive game. So let's not forget, if we win this, we split the series. Mookie Betts up to bat because he hasn't batted yet this innings. That's been popped up. That should be caught out there by Albert Reese. Garcia's done a really, really good job there. And is it now up to Ishmael Aguri to come and close this out for it? All right, it's Miguel Soto who's in a hitting slump, which isn't ideal. But what can he do here? He's walked. I tell you what, we'll take that, mate. We'll take that. Runner aboard. Brings up Suzuki. Anything but a double play here, mate. We've gone the steal with Soto. He's going to trot in. He's moonwalked his way to second base. That takes a double play out of contention. Soto's at second. He's, re he's rapid as well, isn't he? All right, come on, Suzuki. What can you do for us? He's popped it up. Oh, it's the worst possible thing he could have done. Other I mean, it's basically a strikeout. Doesn't give us a chance to get the run of any more advanced. And Keston Hura comes in now to face Cody Allen, uh, whose stuff and movement and control you can see down there looks decent. ERA of 350 or just over. Soto is going to steal third. That was stupid. And we've lost our base runner. Why are we doing that with one out as well? It was un uncalled for. Hura is likely to strike out. Oh, what? I can't believe we tried to steal third with one out. Two out, fair enough. And that ends the innings. And it shouldn't have ended the innings. And I'm really annoyed that we've done that. All right. It is, is Ishmael Aguri. Now, was he... Did we trade him from St. Louis? We did trade him from St. Louis. So Diaz did okay against his former club. Now it's up to Ishmael to show that he can sit down his former teammates as well. Come on, Aguri. We need this from you, mate. We need this. Big, big innings for you. Come on. Let's get the save. Oh, no. All right, Aguri, come on. Oh, what's, what have you done? We're making hard work of this, aren't we? He's, why strike out that guy now? Come on, that's one away. And we've made our defensive subs. Now, the, the one... Uh, I'll tell you what, we might not need our defensive subs because this game might be finished in the ninth. Come on, legend, get that in, mate. One out, runner at second. And I come back to why did we steal Soto, try and steal him at third? It may not have made a difference. But it was... It, was, it didn't need to happen. It brings up Victor Robles. We need this out. We need to get the two away. That is... It's going to be out. That gives us the two outs. All right, Ishmael, just get us out of this innings, please, mate. You've done enough damage. Let's not... A base hit here, of course, will end the game. All right. All right, we're still alive. <coughs> like I say, we do really need to win this because it's a really tight race between us and the Braves. And what we don't want to do is go dropping series. Ideally, we just want to, you know, if we can get 50... 50, 50 was he, he did hold up in time. It's a lead. Again, we get the lead off for anyone now. Alvarez doesn't quite have the pace. That Soto does. Um, Reese Albert comes up. One and two. He strikes out. That's not ideal. It brings up Legend. What can Legend do? Come on. He's got it back up the middle. Legend gets the job done for us. Now, can Alvarez get the third? Don't risk it. Yep, there we go. One out. Runners at first and second. Spencer Brickhouse. He's at first base. He's in a slump. We know he can go long. Oh, he's got it through, has he? He has got it through. Go home. Alvarez isn't fast enough, is he? Is he fast enough? Slide, mate. Slide. He does get there. Top of the 10th. And Brickhouse delivers an RBI. And we're not done yet. There's still runners at first and second. Mauricio comes up. Now, he did a really good RBI hit last time, didn't he? Down uh, right field here. Has he done that again? No, he's popped that one up. Legend. Can Legend get himself to third again? It's probably not worth it. No. It's two away. It brings up Eberhard Morlock in a slump. 0 for 4 today. He's going to strike out, isn't he? Yes, he does. Okay, but we do have the lead. And is it going to be Ishmael to come back out? He's turned the save into a win here, potentially, for himself. We've now hit 7 to 11. How are we winning this game? Come on, Aguri. Come on, mate. That should be easy enough. Into Brickhouse. Into Brickhouse. There it is. All right, one away. One away. Uh, yeah, look, look. I mean, apart from Morlock at third, we're really, really looking good defensively, aren't we? Look at that. And maybe Aguri is... Uh, no, Aguri. What's his name? Suzuki. Come on, Aguri. Come on, mate. That should be easy enough. It is. It's Soto over to Brickhouse. That's two away. We're one out away from an extra innings win. It's Jacob Gonzalez sitting down, Aguri. Come on. He used to tease you in the clubhouse. I remember. That should be easy enough. Mauricio over the brick house. And there it is. We've gone to St. Louis and we've taken a 50-50 split of the series. But we've won the game 5-4. That was hard fought, wasn't it? And I think the best thing about winning that game is, uh, let me know what you think. I, I thought St. Louis always felt like they had the better of us. They were hitting us a little bit more comfortably. Um, 
So that's a, I'm really, really happy with that win. Uh, we are still just one percentage point, but well, point oh oh one of a percentage point behind uh, the Braves. Same amount. Sorry, one more win, but one more loss as well. So we've played more. We've played two more games than them. So um, chance for them to pull out a little bit of a gap on us. But it's a good win. We strengthen our place in the wild card uh, standings, and I think yeah, that's a, I'm really, really happy with that win because as I said, I thought. I thought we were second best for most of that game. That's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back uh, on Monday, maybe for the final game of this uh, Cincinnati series. Uh, and at that point, we'll have a look, see what the standings are like, because we do have a series, well, some games here against the Phillies, or lots of games against the Phillies and the Braves coming up. Um, and then we end at uh, Colorado. So depending how the playoff run is looking, uh, I think if we come back for Cincinnati, we'll have an idea at that point. Uh, and then see what we want to do moving forward uh, to the end of the season here. But hopefully, I'm hopeful of getting back into the postseason. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I've been Ozzy Thank you so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you Monday.